Today, I'm gonna to be solving some puzzles in real time and I'll explain every single move. Hopefully it helps. Another checkmate. S so here, check. King has to move over and we take the rook. Be careful to not just take the rook because the king escaped, so move order matters here. Black to move here. We again want to lure the king into the corner where he doesn't have a lot of space. So we're gonna play rook g1, check and take. So far, so good. Black to move. Okay, what kinds of moves are we considering? There's not a lot of good takes. These are both terrible. This one is probably good because then the knight takes and we're gonna pin the queen. So let's go for that. And then we run away and then we win a queen and then we, we win. Okay, what about check? Check, takes, takes. Cool, so far so good. Are you feeling confident, chat? White to move, what are we gonna do? The king is once again in a position where he's in a lot of trouble. Ooh, this one's kind of cute. This one's a Botez Gambit. So at first I looked, does rook takes here do anything? But it actually doesn't. The cool thing is that the king doesn't have this escape square. And if the king was on c7, it can't get onto the d file. It also can't get onto b6, which means if there was some way to check it, that would be cool. So you actually sack your queen, he takes, and then rook c1. Nice. Okay, black to move. We are in check, which means that we have these four options. Obviously, we're not going to give the rook for free. Coming here seems counterintuitive because it seems like he's going to get in trouble. So I think the options are king b4 or bishop b6. Our queen is under attack, so maybe it is bishop b6, but then the knight comes over to c4. So I think the answer is actually king b4. If he takes our queen, we take. And even though we gave away a queen, we're going to promote it. I could be wrong. I was wrong. Well, you know what? My bad. Um, he's about to checkmate us. That's super rude. So what if we check him and then go here and then push our pawn? Check. Here. Whoa. Whoa. We did it. Cool. We're in check. So we either take or we move away. I'm guessing we take. Because if he takes back, we just fork his queen. There we go. We'll take the rook here. We're up material. Uh, okay, next puzzle. So we could just play rook b2, and then we're gonna win a rook, because it's pinned, and he has no check, so. Nice. Another check. We either take or we run away. If we go here, things are protected, which is cool. We don't really have any threats, so I feel like king f7 is the correct move, because we're not losing anything. Whereas if we take, he takes with the queen and then we lose a rook. So it has to be king here. Yeah. And then we just run away. Yep. And now he wants to check us here, which is not very cool. So I guess we can fight it. We can even play knight f5. I just don't want to be wrong, but knight f5 looks like a good move. Okay. White to move. We're in the 40s now. We are in the over 2150 puzzle range. Let's continue, shall we? Okay, white to move. Um, there's a lot of knights on the board. It's kind of giving me a little bit of a headache. I've already said I'm a little slow today. What do we notice? Oh my god, another king in trapped enclosed spaces. I wonder what this tactic is going to be about. Probably queen d8, king f7, and then some kind of knight Aruski trick. Um, I could play knight here. If he takes, we win a queen. So if I go here, he runs away, I go check, he moves his little king over, and then, and, and then we need to find another move, which is kind of annoying. Okay, let me see if, if there's anything else I'm missing. I don't think we're just going to take the queen here. I don't think we're going to sack right away, so I think this is a good first move, and then he's going to come here. It's better if I don't let him get out. So let's say we go knight takes e5 right away, pawn takes, but then I don't really have any follow-ups. I also have knight d6. So check king here, knight d6. Let's say he goes this way. Then I check. And he only has two squares left that he can go to. I, ne I We need to calculate until the end of it. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. We're not going to be lazy. We're going to calculate. Well... We know this is a first move, so it's not being lazy. Also, if king knight d6 and he goes king here, I'm not sure what the continuation is. I hate that we don't have that queen check. Don't, I, I, I don't like that. 
Um, okay, so knight g5, king here. Knight check. King takes. No, that doesn't work. Oh. Check. King g6. Queen f8. Threatening. Check on f7 and mate. If he takes... Oh, f5 is not mate. Yeah, what do you do if he takes the knight? Oh, that's why you check with this knight. Because if he takes, you win the queen. Beautiful. And they don't even show you the end of that. That was actually a really nice puzzle. By the way, we made our own chess boards and pieces. Botaslive.shop if you want to support the channel. King back in the corner has two legal squares right now. The rook is pinned. We're down a ton of material, so it's basically mate or you're in trouble. This is the most forcing check because he has to go to h3, but this is also a pretty good check. Honestly, this looks like a better check because the king if the king runs away, he loses rook and he's going to get checkmated. If we go queen takes h4 and he plays rook h3, then I think we can just check. Yeah. They d really? They didn't play it out? Come on, guys. Come on. That's not very nice. We worked hard to solve it, and we deserve a prize. Oh, wow. Queen d4. We're attacking two pieces at the same time. He takes, but we take with check, baby. Whoa. Nice. Okay. White to move. White to move um there's a lot of pieces on the board again it's actually equal material um what's going on it looks like i could have some funny stuff with discovery attacks on this bishop maybe bishop e2 because then we're attacking both yeah I, I don't know what he plays after bishop e2 yeah i don't know what he plays because he doesn't have any good moves all right white to move obviously we can take here that's probably the first move. Is there any other move we should consider here? Not one that comes top of mind. So let's say we check and then the king just scoots on over. What would we do? Is the queen trapped by any chance? No, no, the queen is not trapped. Okay, so we can win a piece. Oh yeah, there's also queen d4. So I guess this puzzle is tricky because it's moves that you wouldn't naturally expect. And why is queen d4 better? Because you're bringing the queen in on the attack. And that's very dangerous. Um, or now we just take. Nice. Okay. Black to move. King is almost trapped. You can give it a check. Then he's got to come on over. Our, we don't have another bishop check, sadly. And he's on the light squares. But we do have rook d4, which is threatening check. But he moves the bishop, and then he starts checking us. So we actually have to be careful about the timing here. Okay, so then maybe that's not the way to do this one. Okay, what else do we have here? Oh, check. King here. Sacrifice your little bishop, because he's in the way anyways. Sometimes you got to get rid of the little guy. No one will know. G takes f3. He can't take with his king. And then we give him a little checkmate of Ruski. That's cute. Nice. Nice. Good, good, good. Yeah, I know. We gave him away. It wasn't very nice. But the, it is what it is. The little, little guy's gone. White to move. Black's king is in the center of the board. Material is pretty equal. We have a crazy attack. First move that comes to mind is this check. We also notice that we can take here. I mean, this is a big juicer check. However, it's probably a move order thing. Because if we give the big juicer check, he blocks. We take with the knight. He can't take back because of the rook. However, he doesn't take back our knight. He takes with check. Which means that the correct move order is to first take the rook. And then give the juicer a check. And then take. Nice. Okay. Next. Why is this king trying to checkmate himself? I just have a question for who writes these problems. Your knight and rook 
somehow haven't moved the entire game and you decide to play king g4. This is not realistic, but we will solve it regardless. But I'm a little bit offended by the... By, this, this is ridiculous. So I think we basically just need to take away his escape square because he's getting checkmated because he's literally trying to checkmate himself. So I think we play e4. We take away the square of his. And then he feels good about himself. He gives us a check. We run away. Nowhere left for him to check. And he has no way left to stop h5. Crazy. Cool. All right. Next one. It's probably check here, here. But this is a famous pattern. So I don't know why they're giving it to us at this stage. Oh, okay. Because it's trickier. It's trickier. This actually doesn't work because he can block it. Uh, and then maybe I'm getting into a little bit of trouble. So, let's see what we're gonna do. So it's either rook takes or bishop takes. I'm starting to have a feeling that maybe the move is bishop takes. Let's say he moves his rook away. Well, we are also down a piece, so we do need to win quite a lot of material. And we can't double check, which is annoying. Oh! Oh, beautiful. Take, take, Sacrifice your rook. Why do you have to sacrifice your rook? Because you need to find a double check. If it's a double check, then the king absolutely has to move because he cannot avoid both the bishop and the rook. Sorry, I didn't draw the line, but you get it. So then we do this. The king must take. We've taken away all of his escape squares. We come in with the rook. He sacrifices the little guy. It's really sad. The little guy ends up going down and we checkmate. Okay, nice. Almost 50. Escape square for the king is this. Our rook is under attack. We have a ton of check options. And we're going to start looking at them. Alright. Oh my god. A Botez gambit. If you will. You know what check I didn't look at chat? Queen f8. Just You're trying to bait the king into somewhere where he has no squares. Then you checkmate him. However, this king is probably clever and he's going to come to d7. So we need a follow up. We take and we mate. That's very cute. That was, that was a cute little Botez Gambit. We like those. We like those. Um, I'm actually going to start saving the beautiful Botez Gambits. Black to move. King is in check. We have three options. Which one is the best? I don't know. But we're going to find out. We're up a piece here. So if I come here, he gets a lot of checks and then that feels kind of gross. So let's say we go here and he takes... That honestly feels like the best situation, unless I'm missing something. Let's say we play king g7, we're attacking the rook, but he just gives me another check. So... Yeah, I don't... I don't think there's anything else. Ooh. Okay. Well, I take, he pushes, and I have to move away. Okay, I don't know what that was. 2700 puzzle, we messed it up, that's okay. We got all of these things going on. If I take the knight, and he takes my queen, and I take his queen, and he takes my knight, I would take with the rook. He can't take. If he comes here, I go there, and I think we're up a piece. However, if I take here, and the queen takes, and I take, then I lose a piece, so that doesn't work. In which case, what about knight takes c6 first? If we play knight takes c6, we need to once again look at what happens if he takes our queen. We take his queen, and we already won a piece, so if they trade back, we're okay. So it's forced for him to take back, and then we take a knight. And we win a piece. Nice. I think they just wanted us to calculate everything there. Next one. Um, black to move. Both kings are in very dangerous territory here. Of course, we have a lot of discovery checks, so we want to go for something like bishop e3 or bishop g3. Options, there are options for sure. 
He's threatening to checkmate me in two moves. As of right now, it's not very nice of him, so we're gonna have to be quite careful. Let's say, we don't know which bishop is, is good yet, so we'll figure it out. But we're just gonna start with bishop g3. Of course, he can't go to the side because he gets checkmated, so that cuts down the variations. He has but one move, which is king e2, actually two moves. He can also sacrifice his bishop. Let's assume he doesn't sacrifice his bishop for now. What do we do? We would go check, he would move over, and then we need to give checkmate. Otherwise, we're going to get mated ourselves, which is very unfortunate. Okay, so here, 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 here. Uh, uh, uh. Not great. So we're going to need more than just our bishop and our queen. Okay. Let's say we give check here. He plays king, and instead we play knight d4. He plays king d1. Do we have a checkmate now? Oh! I think the bishop needs to be on e3. Or maybe not. No, he does, he does. Okay, so bishop e3, king here, knight check. He can't take the bishop because we mate. Okay, great. So, bishop here, king here, knight here, he goes back. Um, we go knight check. He has to go here. We sacrifice the knight. If he takes, then we check and mate. However, he can also go back. And if he goes back, and our knight is here, then we take here. Bishop takes. Also, if somebody is typing the solution in chat, give them a timeout, just like for a second, because I don't want to accidentally see it. Anyway, I know this is it. Fuck! Sorry.